So unfortunately, my story with Azerbaijan didn't finish at all. So it was almost 60 years ago, but unfortunately, uh, the Azerbaijanis uh, didn't let me just to live normally. They issued one more warrant for my arrest because they feel upset because I won in the European court and they won in the United Nations. So it's a kind of a shame to the government of Azerbaijan. So there were two attempts of my life. The first one in December 2020 in Riga, Republic of Latvia, when I was invited to take a part in the uh, tourist conference. But fortunately, fortunately, I was uh, warned by the police when I landed in Riga airport. I was taken aside by the local police and told by them that based on the information, uh, the security intelligence of Azerbaijan under the command of General Ali Nagiev, who is actually is, uh, the one who deals with uh, Ruben Vardanyan, this man. Uh, General Ali Nagiev is ordered to actually to kill me. And uh, I was told, uh, they mentioned all the names, the head of the Azerbaijani community of Latvia, the man called Agyotizal Mamedov, he just uh, passed away to Allah two months ago. Um, as they said, inshallah. <laughs> so he received the order to, to find a number of men just to, to kill me in Riga. But fortunately, was warned by the police. And I have to mention the name of the ambassador of the Republic of Armenia, uh, Tigran Mekartichan, so our common friends, who actually saved my life. Because he was the one who actually informed the police. It was the information from the ambassador of the Republic of Armenia that saved my life. Um, and now he's ambassador here, and then he was ambassador in Vilnius in Lithuania. And uh, the second time when he tried to attempt on my life, it happened in, in Yerevan, in the Republic of Armenia, in Yerevan. Uh, but once again, thanks to the local police, I was informed that um, a group of 12 people, with, uh, mostly with Armenian and Russian passports, entered Armenia as tourists, but basically they are not tourists, they are agents of uh, Azerbaijan. And so asked the police, how I connected to those people? So they told me one of them sold to, sent to another by Signal or WhatsApp my picture and my um, address of the rental apartment in Yerevan. So uh, they told me we have no other information, but uh, we advised to leave Armenia immediately. So I had to leave Armenia. So we purchased the first flight. It was, I think, to Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt. So I spent two months in Egypt. And then we came back to Yerevan. 